In this video, I'm going to compare and contrast the Shun Classic 7-inch hollow ground Santoku knife and the Wushtof Gourmet 7-inch hollow ground Santoku knife. I know these are in different price categories, but I have gotten a couple of requests to sort of show off the different lines and compare them. So I thought I would make these videos just to be safe. Off the bat, since they are in different categories, I want to be clear, they are very, very different knives. The Shun is a handmade and forged knife that comes from Japan. And the Wushtof is a machine-made stamped knife that comes from Germany. The actual cutting edges are very different too. The Shun has a very sharp 16 degree cutting edge while the Wushtof has a very, very dull, I would say 18 and a half degree cutting edge. This can shave you, that cannot shave you to put that in perspective. The Shun uses a VG Max cutting core, which is essentially a notch better than VG 10, the gold standard in knife making. And because of that, it's very hard, it's very resilient, it holds an edge very well. It's 61 hardness. In contrast, the Gourmet uses a very, very soft, I would say 58 hardness metal. And the end result is that comparing the two, this is going to dull much faster. It is going to end up needing much more maintenance in terms of sharpening and honing. So that's really just something to consider. Finally, the actual blade of the Gourmet is a very sort of classic blade, just straight steel. While the Shun has 34 layers of stainless steel incorporated into the blade, which does two things. Number one, you get this gorgeous Damascus pattern. But number two, it becomes very, very resistant to rust and pitting and staining just by virtue of having all of that stainless steel incorporated into it. Both knives have full tangs, but where they differ in the handles is, first of all, how ergonomic they are. The Shun is very ergonomic, number one, because it's forged, it has this nice little sort of dimpled or recessed area right there, which holds your fingers very nicely in a pinch grip. And then also the D-shaped handle fills your palms up. So at the end of the day, it becomes a very, very nice, almost extension of your hand as you use it. The Wushtof is a very traditional handle, and since it is also stamped, it ends up being sort of awkward to hold this handle, I personally think. The next thing to talk about is the actual handle material. This is just black plastic. This uses black packa wood, which is essentially a resin impregnated and compressed wood. So they're both very resilient in terms of water damage, staining, and things like that. Both of these knives also come with a lifetime warranty. The Shun, however, also comes with lifetime sharpening for free, which I've always felt is a deal breaker. The reason is because if you take your knife to a reputable sharpener, it's going to cost you about $5 per inch to sharpen it, which means both of these are going to be roughly $35 at a minimum. And even then, you don't know what the results are going to be. There are always horror stories. With Shun, you give them the knife, they look at it. If they see any problems, they throw it out and give you a new one. But otherwise, you can rest easy knowing they're going to put the exact same edge back on the knife as when you first purchased it, and they're going to do it for free. So I really think it's a no-brainer. Either way, I'll put a link down to both of these two below, but I'm also going to put a link down to my favorite entry-level knife line, which is the Shun Sora. And I say that because it's the same price as the Gourmet, but it comes with 90% of the benefits that I just mentioned with the Shun Classic. So in my mind, it's really a no-brainer. Either way, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, and I will talk to you very soon.